Dear friends, our topic is evaluating limits using substitution method. Please follow two examples. In both the examples, you find that the numerator and denominator are simultaneously zero for the given limiting conditions. See, when x is equal to zero, then numerator of this example is zero plus eight whole to the power one third minus two means two minus two that is zero and for x is equal to zero the denominator is zero so in this case this is of zero by zero form that means the indeterminate form in the second example also if x is equal to one then one to the power one sixth minus one means one minus one this is zero and here denominator is one minus one again zero so this is also in zero by zero form this is also the indeterminate form okay so in such cases we need to simplify our expressions and one technique is rationalization but the radical is difficult here x plus 8 whole to the power one third and the one is x to the power one sixth so we we have to use some substitution method so in the first case we shall substitute x plus 8 whole to the power one third as a z or in the second example x to the power one sixth as equal to z so friends if you are new here please subscribe the channel and uh, please see the complete video for a proper knowledge let's consider that x plus 8 whole to the power one third is equal to z okay so x plus 8 is equal to z cube so when x tends to 0 this is the limiting condition when x tends to 0 then z is tending to 0 plus 8 0 plus 8 whole to the power one third that is z is tending to 2 so here limit z tends to 2 x plus 8 whole to the power one third is equal to z so z minus 2 divided by x what is x x is equal to z cube minus 8 so z cube minus 8 we can write limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 divided by this is z cube minus 2 cube actually this one so can be written z minus 2 whole into z square plus 2 z plus 4 because we have applied here one formula I want to write this formula we have we know that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b whole into a square plus a b plus b square okay this is a formula algebraic formula we have used it here you see that this is z cube minus 2 cube so z minus 2 whole into z square plus 2 into z plus 2 square 2 square means 4 so now friends in both the numerator and denominator we find that z is tending to 2 since z is tending to 2 we can write z is not is equal to 2 therefore z minus 2 is not is equal to 0 so z minus 2 is a factor in the denominator so we can cancel z minus 2 okay so here we find that limit z tends to 2 1 divided by z square plus 2z plus 4 okay so it is equal to 1 divided by 2 square plus 2 into 2 plus 4 so getting the result 1 divided by 4 plus 4 plus 4 means 1 upon 12 so the limiting value of the given function the function is this one is 1 by 12 or 1 1 upon 12 okay when limit 
x tends to 0. This is very important. When x tends to 0, then the limiting value of this given function is equal to 1 upon 12. We shall now see the second example. Our second example is limit x tends to 1 x to the power 1 sixth minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So here we shall substitute x to the power 1 sixth is equal to z. Therefore x is equal to z to the power 6. When x tends to 1 then z is tending to 1 to the power 1 sixth means 1. So this is limit z tends to 1 x to the power 1 sixth means z so this is z minus 1 divided by x minus 1 what is x x is equal to z to the power 6 so z to the power 6 minus 1 we can write limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 divided by this z to the power 6 can be written z cube whole square minus 1 square. So it is limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 divided by z cube plus 1 whole into z cube minus 1. We have actually used one formula. The formula I want to write this is also an algebraic formula. The formula is this one a square minus b square is equal to a plus b whole into a minus b. We have used here z cube as a and 1 as b. So a square minus b square. That means a plus b whole into a minus b. Now friends, we want to break z cube minus 1. Okay, We can write limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 whole divided by z cube plus 1 whole into this one can be written 1 cube no so this is z cube minus 1 cube so this can be written z minus 1 whole into z square plus z plus 1 okay so now friends since z is tending to 1 since z is tending to 1 so z is not is equal to 1 since z is not is equal to 1, so we can write z minus 1 is not is equal to 0. So friends, see that z minus 1 is a factor in the denominator. So since z minus 1 is not is equal to 0, so we can cancel z minus 1. So again I want to write this one. Limit z tends to 1, 1 upon z cube plus 1 whole into z square plus z plus 1. So for the limiting condition z tends to 1 the limit of the given function will be now 1 upon 1 cube plus 1 whole into 1 square plus 1 plus 1. So this is 1 upon 2 into 3 that is equal to 1 by 6. Friends, uh, we see that uh, for the function x to the power 1 sixth minus 1 divided by x minus 1 when uh, limit x tends to 1 we find the limiting value of the given function is 1 upon 6. So in this way you can find many more examples and you can solve these examples using substitution method. Thank you. Have a nice day.